Surgical technique. The external referential points in the Forbus procedure are aimed to facilitate an accurate technique, and they are the insertion of the adductor longus muscle, the Foley catheter at the level of the bulbar urethra, the obturator foramen two centimeters below, the entry point for the insertion guide, the bulb of the urethra. The insertion guide curve helps to figure out the length of this incision. The procedure starts with a perineal incision centralized in the bulb of the urethra. Sharp and blunt dissection, keeping the bulbous pongeosus muscle intact allows identification of the crura, the ischiopubic rami, and the obturator foramen. The insertion guide is then inserted and guided around and behind the ischiopubic ramus, down towards the virtual triangle formed by the angle between the crust and the bulbospongiosus muscle. Connecting the fixation arms is an easy maneuver thanks to the extendable design of the insertion guide tip. Pulling backwards the insertion guide around the ischiopubic rami, the fixation arms are placed in position. Same maneuver on the other side. The unique feature of the insertion guide consists of a specially designed extendable mechanism. The extended and retracted position can be locked to ensure safe movements. The next step 
is to attach the arms to the suburethral pad at the fixation sites with a mosquito clamp. This is the first adjustment stage using the calibrated fixation arms. The arms should be connected to the pad under slight tension in order to create a gentle contact with the urethra. The final adjustment is made by hydraulic means. Initially, the air is totally extracted from the pad. Then, 10 milliliters of saline are introduced using a 10 milliliter syringe and an injection needle through the port. This helps the pad and the entire system to accommodate to the patient's anatomy. Finally, three milliliters are the residual volume injected into the pad. The surplus fixation arms are cut off two additional orifices away from the fixation site. The port is inserted into the scrotum subcutaneously. The incision is closed in its three anatomical planes. The Foley catheter will be removed on the second day. Post-operative adjustments can be done at any time after surgery.